morning and welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, uh, where we just have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the other markets may be affecting it. Um, so Bitcoin's up, as we all know, uh, it's gone up, uh, up, uh, five, it's up 5% um, to 6750 dollars It's had a high of 6889 and a low of 6438 um, So it's, it's definitely had a, a large leap. Some people are calling it parabolic. I won't quite call it parabolic yet, but it's, uh, it's making its way out of that uh, cup and handle formation um, and then it's uh, it's taken that uh, uh, three rising valleys and it's, it's used it to give itself some momentum and, and hop right up there um, so the news in the trading view uh, news feed is um, market cap of da gambling digital currencies tops 100 million so um, it's obviously been used uh, quite a lot for gambling Bitcoin enters parabolic face as 7k uh, but no one no one is sure when it was we're gonna stop um, blah 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 uh, Monero do or die for the bulls and bears. Um, analysis roar is Bitcoin top 6,700. Short, short squeeze may sustain crypto rally. Uh, flash hike, Bitcoin cash. Uh, um, is BTC price being pushed by short squeeze controlled by whales? Uh, so, okay, so there is some speculation that maybe maybe the whales are making this, this, this um, pump happen um, so they can cash out, but... Uh, I think that's that's quite unlikely. I think it's more the, the fidelity um, angle we talked about in a couple of last couple of videos, uh, which is fidelity's um, now now allows uh, buying and selling of Bitcoin, which is a great on, on ramp for Wall Street to, to pile in. Uh, Bitcoin futures are also up, so um, the the whales wouldn't have been causing that one. Uh, so let's have a look at Litecoin, shall we? Uh, Litecoins, uh, I imagine, will hop up because we've got the magical crypto conference coming up, and then also Bitcoin's gone up. So you know, often when Bitcoin has a nice pump then then litecoin shortly follows so i mean goodness that's up 10 percent oh 11.5 percent incredible uh to 86 dollars um it's had a high of 87 dollars and a low of 77 dollars so the litecoin community out there they're going to be pretty happy this morning uh, apart from charlie Lee, obviously because he sold all his um uh yep so let's have a look at ethereum so ethereum's doing ethereum doesn't seem to be benefiting too much from the well i'm, I'm in saying that what am i talking about i'm looking at a, a uh, a long time frame chart here it's up six percent up six point six percent which is an incredible amount um to 185 dollars it's had a high of 186 dollars and uh um a low of 173 dollars um so i'm going to zoom in a little bit actually and just see what's happening on a shorter time frame yeah yeah okay so we've got kind of on the three months we've got a nice channel building um um which is is narrowing as well which turns it into a nice uh, uh ascending triangle um wedge which is uh pretty pretty bullish and if we zoom out to the six month then yeah we've got, we've got the, the same pattern but a, a, a larger version of it um so i think that yeah the ethereum so that that should then um let's see how far that would go up then so that would go up then an extra hundred dollars you know off the, off the back of that triangle so yeah so that's a 300 dollar uh, ethereum right there um so how's monero doing uh monero's had a little pump that's good so a little pump of five percent um again it's got the magical crypto conference and i'm sure uh, uh, Ricard, uh fluffy pony's gonna gonna release some uh interesting news as he always does um so that's at 72 dollars just about to break 73 dollars and it's had a high of 73.4 dollars and a low of 69 dollars so keep an eye on it, um, monero and litecoin over the magical crypto conference i mean i'm not a short-term trader i don't know i don't advocate any sort of short-term trading but i think the the, the Magical Crypto Conference itself um, was inevitably going to pop the price up of, of Litecoin and Mayo just a little bit, a few percent. So that, that was probably easy money to make. That was an easy trade. Um, but obviously, you know, there's so much risk attached to day trading. It's not worth it. Right. So S&P 500, the S&P 500 has gone up a little bit. So uh, China names its trade deal price as Trump sets month deadline. So, OK, so there's, there's, there's a little bit more clarity in the trade deal between uh, China and, and, and the US. So I think that's, that's benefited the market somewhat. It's gone up 0.5%. Um, uh, hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll pop back up over its, over its channel and then sort of resume tracing up in its channel. Uh, I mean, it did kind of like double top on the, on the, on the, are we on the six month? No, we're on the, we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it did kind of double top on the yearly. So um, it has a good chance of, of, of now going up if they can strike a trade deal. 
So gold, how are we doing gold? Uh, okay, so gold's up uh, 0.01%. So um, uh, it's uh, it's made a little bit of a gain there. So gold price prediction, gold rises, unsubdued CPI reading, gold weekly forecast, gold markets continue to test, gold price forecast, gold markets rally towards neckline. Um, okay, I'll zoom in. So there's a head and shoulders thing going on, and then it's okay, it's sort of hitting the neckline of the head and, of the inverse head and shoulders, um, uh, which could uh, could could predict a. Uh, um, uh, uh, you know, a turnaround and then a, a bit of bullishness. Gold up after Trump uh, tariff blow on China. So yeah, as I said in the last video, um, gold, um, the news on, on, on Trump, uh, on the US not being able to strike a trade deal, trade deal with China sh should be quite positive for gold. I would have thought it'd be more positive than it has been, but maybe everyone's pouring into Bitcoin. Um, so I, I didn't get too many new, any music articles up because uh, it's all just about the, the bullish fomo you know, um, uh, so it's a bit boring really. Uh, I thought we'd have a quick look at Reddit and then we can kind of gauge what the communities, how the community's feeling this morning. Um, so there's a, a, a video here, uh, um, it's a Phil Collins song, isn't it, um, with the, the drum solo and someone's made a nice huddle video which they've been waiting to release, it's quite fun. Uh, yeah, just loads of sort of fomo -y, you know, bullish news, really. Um, we had an excellent uh, Bitcoin group last night, so if you haven't watched that, then go and go watch that. It's really, really interesting. And uh, I, I watched it. I've, I've not quite got to the stage where I can read comments and, and do a video, so um, I watched the comments afterwards, and they were, they were as, as good as the show, so it's well worth watching the show with the comments. Really interesting uh, discussions going on there. Um, Remember everyone when Bitcoin's value goes up like crazy, changes uh, have a nasty habit of getting hacked. Exchanges have a nasty habit of getting hacked. So unless you're selling, it's advisable to keep your coins in a private control wallet controlled by you. So yeah, there's some excellent advice to end on. Uh, you know, particularly when Bitcoin is going up in price. Obviously, some people out there are gonna have made like a decent amount of money. If you have, then scale your security appropriately. You know, if you had a hundred quid on an exchange to play around with and now it's 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 it's, it's gone up, you know, and um, take some of that money out, buy a, a, a hard wallet, put on a hard wallet. Um, and it, you know, if, if the, the more the, the more your stash increases, scale up your um, your security. If if there's a significant amount, you know, tens of thousands of dollars or pounds, then I very much advise having it somewhere which you can't even have access to. Um, uh, it take you a few days to get access to. Um, so so just just really do scale up your security. You know, get the hardware wallet, even if it's for a small amount um and uh and and just just be safe keep hold of your private keys and then you know back up that seed put it somewhere safe so yep yeah, uh enjoy the weekend and i think it's going to be a nice bullish weekend for us so we can all skip about with a smile on our face um and i'll see you tomorrow